Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 596. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 596. Hey, this trick, this is an amazing trick, comes from Don Quixote at the Mr. Excel message board. Man, is he given uh, me and many others some amazing solutions over the years. Now, the whole point of this video is we want to count with cri uh, four criteria. Now, this pretty easy, right? We could just use the count ifs or a sum product uh, function in 2007 and later. If you have 2007, you should be using count ifs because it calculates faster than any other method. Um, and we just have a bunch of columns and we just highlight the criteria and it counts. It goes through all the records and only when all four conditions are met will it count a single one. Now, the problem is if we want the option of having nothing, right, which means uh, for the customer, we don't care who it is, we just want three criteria, then count if won't work. It's not going to interpret that right. So we have to switch over to something else. We are going to use the search function. Now, what does the search function do? Let's uh, try with Mo and learn about the search. I have some links over here. I have a whole video on nothing but search. But search. I want to say, hey, search function, find this text within. Now, usually you select a single cell, but watch this. I'm going to highlight the whole column. This is the sales rep, so I'm going to click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then I'm going to hit F4, F4, F4 to just jump the screen back up. Close parentheses. Now, right now, what does this do? Uh, well, it won't show us. Let me do a smaller version because, oh yeah, this is a huge data set, like 10,000 rows. So I'm just going to highlight that many and then highlight it just to see what it does, F9. Now, it's going to give us um, value errors, ah, but it's going to give us a number uh, wherever there is um, a match. Now, normally you use the search function. I'm going to control Z. You say Mo, and you look within a larger text string, and it tells you where this particular subtext in is within a larger text string. But we're just going to use it for this way. It'll always return 1 when there's a Mo and an error when there's not. All right, let's go ahead and highlight um, the whole column here. Now, that's not going to work because those errors will mess everything up and really want the one. So we can use is number. Is number. I'm actually going to copy that little bit because I'm going to use that four times. Right? And then close parentheses. And now we get a bunch of uh, trues for the numbers, which will indicate where there is a mo and there's a va uh, false wherever there's a value error. Now we need to convert the ones and zeros, uh, the trues and falses to ones and zeros to count them. So I'm going to put a double negative. Now in 2007, there is a known error for the sum product function in double negative. So instead, you might want to go one times or something like that. Now, let's go ahead and use the sum product, because these ones and zeros, right, where ultimately, if we have four criteria, we're going to have to multiply this array times the next one, times the next one, times the next one. And sum product does that perfectly, sum product, array number one. Now, I'm going to um, type another double negative and then control V because I pasted that search. I'm going to type a comma just to get this one here. Well, now I've messed everything up. It should be working right there. Some product. That's the first array. Oh, I see. And then hold on. Wow, it's not, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Well, OK, I was trying to put a comma there to make it less confusing. But here's the first array we're going to do, is number search. And now we're going to say, uh, find this text. Here's where the um, search is number construction will work. If we say, hey, search, find a blank within this whole column, because that's the customer criteria, Control Shift Down L, and hit F4 three times. Close parentheses on that, close parentheses on the is number, and then finally a comma. 
I don't know why that screen tip didn't show up earlier. So our first array right here, but search can deal with this, right? And when it sees a blank, it'll just say one, 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 one for all of them, right? So we have our first array of ones and zeros, which happens to be all ones. Our second one, which is ones and zeros. Now we're going to do comma, double negative, and I'm going to control V. Next criteria is here for search, comma. We'll do the product column, control shift down, F4, F4, F4. Close parentheses on the um, search, close parentheses on the is number, comma, we're comma, we get to our fourth array, double negative, control V. And I will do, hey, that, we want to find that text within this um, product line, control shift down or F4, F4, F4. Close parentheses on that, close parentheses on the is number, and the sum product, I'm just waiting until I see the sum product, and then close parentheses. And that's it. This sum product will handle array, so you don't even have to hit control shift enter, just enter. Totally awesome. Now, if we come up here and say uh, this, when all four criteria, then count if these will both work. But now, anytime we want to have some all criteria. And actually, the guy who posted this question was trying to do a formula with all. He actually asked me, and I said, man, I, I can't figure it out. So of course, he sent it to the Mr. Excel message board, and Don Quixote gave us this beautiful formula. The whole trick is number search so that we can include an all criteria, which in essence is a blank, which the search and is number can handle. All right, we'll see you next trick.